everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so you all in today's video it's another episode of what to wear with it's been a minute since i've done one of these because it was like every week for there for a minute but today we're going to be talking about confetti daydream from bath and body works i finished this mist up this is a tricky mist for me so I was like, let me make sure I share some of my combos that I enjoy. So the notes in Confetti Daydream are fresh raspberry, sparkling pear, and blue iris. And this fragrance mist is hard for me to describe. But let me tell y'all, one of my uh, wonderful subscribers said in the comments, if I'm remembering correctly, she said it smells like sweet tarts with, mixed with a little floral and powderiness. And I can see where she was going with that because it is like a tart, fruity, floral, powdery musk to me. I do get a little musk. So I can see kind of like a hard candy Feel, but it's not really sweet that that's the thing it's very tart it's a fruity tart and sometimes on my skin i can get a little musk to come out of it so the notes i was mainly trying okay let me tell you this this perfume exo from victoria i was trying to this is in my project use it up and i was trying to you know use it so i was wearing this every with every combination i came up with i was also wearing this perfume because this perfume gives me like a fruity floral musk uh like hairspray shampoo clean vibe so it didn't really clash with anything. So just remember that this perfume was with every combination that I'm about to share. So with these two paired together, because I did wear them on its own together. Yeah, this just kind of blended perfectly. This is one where it didn't overshadow the mist. The mist didn't overshadow the perfume. They just kind of went perfectly together with the fruity, tartness in this and then the shampoo-y kind of fresh musk in this floral it just worked perfectly and i just smelled soft clean and feminine in like a casual laid back way but still put together so i did enjoy this combination with confetti daydream and victoria's secret x well exo victoria Okay, so the next fragrance I wore with this was Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Now, I layered these three together because this is a perfume that's pretty, but it's like, is it there? It's so super duper soft. It's a very soft floral. I think of a, the softest kind of floral fragrance with a juicy couture twist. That's what this is. So mixed with Victoria XO and Confetti Daydream, I noticed that I would put, you know, the mist on, I sprayed this, you know, and then I put this on top. And it all, it just made it even prettier. Cause like I just said, this combination together, the Confetti Daydream and XO Victoria was very fresh, clean, pretty, casual and this just made it even prettier it just prettied it up some more it really didn't change the scent profile because it's so soft but it just made it just a little bit prettier and just added a twist to it because you know when you're wearing when you're trying to use up products and i was trying to use up this perfume you i'll get bored i'm not the type that i want to wear the same perfume every day i've never been that way so i'll get bored about a week if i'm wearing the same thing I, i'm ready to change it up so that viva la juicy la fleur helped change this combination up just enough okay now this is one that blew my mind y'all so i layered insolence um the edt with confetti daydream and of course exo by victoria now this perfume I have been, I've worn this before. I've received compliments, but it is not a perfume I tend to reach for a lot. I don't think of it a lot. 
but the raspberry note in here made me think and the iris in here made me think it would go with the violet kind of powdery sweet candiness of this perfume and y'all oh perfection honey perfection this was one of my favorite combinations if not my favorite and it made me want to keep this perfume out to try to wear it with something else because it's a it's a vintage smelling perfume but not to me outdated smelling but it is one that i would suggest you try to smell it on your own because it is different i can't think of anything today that i would you know you walk into an Ulta or sephora today a macy's you're gonna smell a perfume that smells like this oh it's so pretty to me and when i layered it with confetti daydream is something about the raspberries and the iris in this mixed with the violet i can i can only remember violet in this as a note but i know it's other notes it was perfection i felt like i was smelling like a pretty wrapped like a fancy wrapped candy but not in a pink sugar type of way i'm talking about upscale like paris kind of way i love this combination confetti daydream and insolence edt version from guerlain okay so the next combination i was also trying to bring out the raspberry note and confetti daydream this is chill babe misguided now this i know has i can't remember all the notes but i know it has a raspberry note this is a very potent sweet in your face fruity raspberry fragrance and i felt like this perfume was so strong i really i could still you know smell it mixing with confetti daydream but this is the one where i was smelling predominantly the perfume but it still paired well together with the raspberry um i felt like it you know it went well together but the perfume dominated in this combination and so y'all i might as well tell you i was trying to bring out the raspberry in most of this because i keep saying it but the perfumes i gravitated towards except for viva la juicy la fleur and insolence it was about the raspberry in this because i was feeling like i wanted to smell fruity like sweet fruitiness because i'm craving sweeter fragrances now so along those lines my next combination was dolce and gabbana Porfim. now i just felt like this would be perfect together because it has a raspberry note and an iris note which makes it powdery this is a powdery marshmallowy raspberry fragrance not too sweet just sweet enough and paired with confetti daydream now these are this is a combination to switch together perfectly perfectly it the raspberry played nicely with each other the powderiness in this the neroli in this it all just mesh well to make a soft this the confetti daydream made the raspberry here to me a little more prominent so it was a fruitier raspberry marshmallowy powdery scent that i just loved love these two together yes so this combination was a hit also poor film with confetti daydream again with the raspberry but this day i remember when i pulled this perfume i was feeling like i wanted to to not i didn't want to feel as as, as bright i kind of wanted to be a little deeper so i was like let me try this perfume so this is hot couture by givenchy and this is the edt this is a smoky raspberry i mean it is if you this is the smokiest pinkest fragrance i have ever smelled in my life and it's in my collection because usually when you have like a smoky fragrance you don't think pink but this is is a smoky raspberry and paired with confetti daydream okay this is the one where the powderiness came out more in confetti daydream mixing with the smoky raspberry of this and i loved it 
And this, I was smelling 10 plus hours. It was like a soft, this combination gave me a soft but potent powdery, smoky raspberry scent that I fell in love with it. I love this combination too. Hot Couture with Confetti Daydream. Y'all don't forget I'm talking about it. Okay, so the last combination I'm going to talk about today is the one that I felt like when I first, when I put this in my project, used it up and I said, I'm going to use Confetti Daydream. This was the first perfume I thought of to layer with it and that is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Love is Love. This this is an interesting perfume. This is a raspberry creamy version of the original Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It's not as good. I don't love it. It was a blind buy, but it is one I can wear and enjoy. It's a candiness to it that'll come out the more you smell it and the more you wear it also. So layered with Confetti Daydream, it kind of was like a casual, sweet, but not too sweet, raspberry, fruity, kind of creamy scent. Um, it, I felt like it enhanced each other. I felt like it played well together, these two scents, and they blended and layered perfectly together. But it wasn't a combination, even though I felt like this was gonna be my favorite, and this was the first perfume I thought of, it was not my favorite combination. But it is a combo that worked and that I enjoy while wearing. Okay, y'all, so those were two, four, six, seven perfumes I layered with Confetti Daydream. With Confetti Daydream, this is one I have a backup of, so I'm not really worried about it. But I do feel like I didn't fall in love with it while wearing it. I liked it. I received compliments with some of these combinations, but I didn't fall in love with the mist. Sometimes I can fall in love with the mist. But I am glad to know that since I have a backup, because I couldn't resist that packaging, is that... I have perfumes that I know I love to wear with this and that I can explore and, you know, come up with more combinations whenever I feel the need to pull Confetti Daydream and enjoy it. All right, y'all. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me your thoughts about Confetti Daydream. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, because it's just, it's, it's, it's okay. It's good. But it's not one I think about that I'm like, oh, I just, oh, confetti daydream. It's not on that level. You know, it's not, you know, twinkling nights. It's not on that level for me at all. But it is nice and I did enjoy wearing it. So tell me your thoughts on confetti daydream. Please share this video with everyone who loves to play in their collection and come up with different layering combinations. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.